videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Cole Sprouse is an American actor who despite his still young age has been a part of many of our lives for quite a while now. Alongside his twin brother Dylan, Cole got his start as a small child, appearing in TV projects like Grace Under Fire and the Adam Sandler film Big Daddy before becoming a Disney star in the series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. More recently, he's become even more popular thanks to his portrayal of Jughead Jones on the hit reimagining of the Archie comic book series Riverdale. The success of Riverdale has made budding real estate moguls out of nearly the show's entire cast. Over the past two years, all of its young and energetic main stars have picked up gorgeous new homes in the greater Los Angeles area, including Cole Sprouse, who found a striking modernist property for himself deep in the Hollywood Hills. Boasting four bedrooms and three bathrooms, this 2,500 square foot residence might not sound all that large, but it sure does make for a spacious bachelor pad. Even better, it's got a historical architectural pedigree to boot. Originally constructed in 1949 from Mr. Magoo co-creator Millard Kaufman, this home was a unique collaboration between three extremely skilled mid-century architects, Richard Neutra, Alexander Ban, and modernist specialist Joseph van der Kar. Several years after the home was completed, the owner hired Richard Neutra once more to expand the residence's lower floor. Kaufman then held on to the house for nearly 50 years before selling it in 1997. From there, the property passed through several non-famous owners' hands and it was last sold in 2016 for $2.3 million. Afterwards, the property underwent a significant restoration with refinished hardwood floors, a brand new kitchen, and updated bathrooms. Then Cole arrived and dropped $3 million to call this place his own. So let's take a closer look, shall we? Set atop a very steep ridge near the Hollywood Hills Cahuenga Pass area, Cole Sprouse's new home is completely walled off and gated for privacy. The house sits far back on its heavily wooded lot, practically invisible from the street. Out front, a two-car garage has been updated with a modern door, and beside it is a pebble stone pathway that leisurely wanders past a pool on its way to the front door of the main house. There, the glass door opens into a polished great room with high beam ceilings, offering plenty of exposed wood as well as skylights, floor to ceiling glass windows, and the home's original paneling. In the center of the room, a massive fireplace warms the stunning terrazzo floors. Adjoining that space is the all-new kitchen, which includes colorful tile, an Eden island, and only the best kitchen appliances. There's also a skylight and clerestory windows situated around this space to lend it a ton of natural light. The home's blown out lower level is dedicated entirely to the primary suite. Not only are there wood finishes and views of the property's lush landscaping everywhere you look down here, there's also an exceptionally gigantic bathroom as well as a walk-in closet, which is rather uncommon for homes of this age. Out back, Cole can enjoy some slightly obscured sight lines of the San Fernando Valley through a plethora of mature trees. There's also a charming lawn with plenty of room for pets and entertaining friends, thanks to a patio that surrounds a built-in fireplace, as well as a 1,200 square foot deck with various alfresco dining and entertaining options. Pretty charming, right? And while this place might serve as Cole's home base at present, it isn't the only place that he's ever called home. With Riverdale having lasted longer than your average TV series lifespan, Cole also had to spend a great deal of time living out of the city where it shoots, Vancouver. And longtime fans of his will probably have a field day when they find out exactly where it is that he's been living. A few years ago, Cole and his brother Dylan starred in a little series called The Sweet Life of Zachary. Cody, a show about two boys living their best lives from the comfort of a hotel suite. In one of the most unique incidents of life imitating art, as a grown man, Cole would find himself living a life of deja vu while calling the chairman's suite of Vancouver's Fairmont Pacific Rim home for the past seven years whenever he was in town, shooting episodes of Riverdale. Setting the superstar back a stunning $15,000 per night, this two-story suite boasts 2,250 square feet of space 
making it only a fraction of a size smaller than Cole's LA home. In fact, this space is so big that it can hold up to 40 people comfortably inside a rooftop tent, designed for elegant gatherings, which no doubt make it the perfect place for Cole to throw a little cast party or two after the season is wrapped. Cole actually took the time to show off different aspects of the suite to Vogue, and through that interview, we discovered a few things about the property. For starters, the home boasts two living rooms, one of which includes a stunning eight foot long Swarovski crystal chandelier hanging from the ceiling corner. Right to the side of the front door is the suite's kitchen. You know, the kind of space that you wouldn't find in most hotel rooms. But here, Cole has a little bit of everything that he could possibly need to make a decent meal, even if the space is small. And then there's the master suite upstairs that comes complete with a king size bed, fireplace, and an all marble bathroom that also features a hand carved soaker tub. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. Meanwhile, outside, a private patio offers all the comforts you'd normally come to expect from a home in the suburbs, including a gazebo, a meditation pond and a fire pit. Better yet, unlike your average suburban home up here, you'll also find views of Cole Harbor, Stanley Park, and the North Shore Mountains. The city's views are what keep Cole coming back to this spot time and time again. As a photographer, he loves shooting landscapes and from here he can snap images of his favorite vistas. What's more, after having spent the better part of a decade living and working in Vancouver, British Columbia, Cole has come to consider this part of the world as one of the most special places you could ever visit. He told Vogue, when the sun is out, it's the most beautiful city on earth, truly. Sadly for Cole and his many fans, Riverdale is set to come to an end with this upcoming seventh and final season. But considering how much he appears to love living out of Vancouver, I wouldn't be surprised if Cole Sprouse books himself another gig that utilizes this spot as its primary shooting location. I mean, how else is he going to find the time to photograph those magical views? All right, everyone, that's going to bring this tour to an end. Thanks so much for joining me today. And before heading out, consider answering the following question. What's the longest stretch of time you could live out of an average hotel room? I'm sure we could all live out of a suite like Cole's here indefinitely, but how long would you be able to last in your normal everyday hotel room? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss a video. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this look into one former Disney star's real estate holdings, then keep watching because coming up next is a look into the homes of Zendaya. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, oh, oh I didn't see you there. Come on in. Welcome. Although the deal reportedly closed last year, only recently did Zendaya's new mansion acquisition in the San Fernando Valley come to light. While two multi-million dollar properties may seem like a lot for a 24-year-old, the actress is no ordinary millennial. Aside from purchasing mega homes, Zendaya just made history at the Emmys, being the youngest to win Best Lead Actress for her role as Rue on Euphoria. That being said, she can choose to celebrate her huge win at either one of her two mansions, her starter home in Northridge or her secluded estate state in Encino. We'll take a look at both and we even found the listings. Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman, who goes by Zendaya, is an actress and singer who began her career as a child star as a model and backup dancer before landing the role of Rocky Blue on Disney's Shake It Up alongside Bella Thorne. At the time of this recording, she's only in her early 20s, but the showbiz multitasker is not your average young star. She has a blossoming acting career on the rise, starring in films such as Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and The Greatest Showman, to name a few. Most notably though is the lead role she just won an Emmy for and broke records with playing Rue on the HBO drama Euphoria. If you've ever seen this show, it's an intense character to say the least. Thank you um, to the TV Academy, um, to all the other incredible women in this category. I, I admire you all so much. This is... Um in addition to Zendaya's acting career and her platinum entries into music, the former Disney star is a fashion icon and major league influencer with over 79 million followers on Instagram alone. In only one year, it's said Zendaya has increased her net worth by a whopping $10 million, going from an estimated net worth of 5 mil to 15 million as of late. It makes sense then that the young star would indulge on buying a second property, which also sounds like a good investment. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. 
Entertainment. We've reported on Zendaya's house in the past, but to celebrate her Emmy win, and since she recently got a second mansion, we'll be looking at where she calls home, including her Northridge home, as well as a new upgrade pad she bought in Encino. You Zendaya fans can rate which one of her homes you like better down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Big Sean and Zoe Saldana, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Now you moved into your first house yeah. right, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. And will you have everyone over for the yeah. holidays? Yeah. So I, playing host? Yeah, I, I always kind of play host. You know why? Because um, my house is basically empty. When she was barely 20, Zendaya bought her first home and it's pretty gorgeous for a starter home, if that's what you want to call it. This Mediterranean style spread is newly rebuilt and located in Northridge, California, the north area of Los Angeles and slightly away from the Hollywood action. It's home of the California State University and located in the San Fernando Valley. The young star bought the home for $1.4 million and it spans 4,155 square feet of living space inside with 5 beds and 5 baths. The entryway of her home is detailed with custom iron doors, a grand entryway, and vaulted ceilings. Zendaya says her fave part is the impressive peninsula stairway, which she refers to as a Cinderella spiral staircase. This is also the first home she's lived in where she has her own stairs, but hey, those stairless days are long behind her now. Throughout her home, there's ambient lighting, making it perfect for photo ops and selfies. We also know Zendaya loves hosting her family and friends, so the lighting sets the mood. This mansion has a gourmet chef's kitchen with marble backsplash and state-of-the-art appliances. Then separate dining, living, and family rooms complete the main floor of the home. Zendaya's sprawling master bedroom features a fireplace, vanity, and powder room, and large walkout balcony. That doesn't include the ensuite bathroom either or the huge walk-in closet she has. The master bath is all marble and there's an enormous standing tub which definitely is the centerpiece of the room. Her whole master suite looks like it served her well for some relaxation time when she wasn't busy filming and working. Back on the main level of the home, French doors lead out to the expansive yard and patio. Aside from the grassy lawn, there's also a built-in barbecue with a tiled bar as well as a beautiful blue pool and spa. Shortly after she bought the home, Zendaya said she filled the pool with floaties like a donut and a big white swan. She told Allure magazine, it's the ghetto off-brand swan, not the fancy one that was all over Snapchat and Instagram. I don't have the Rihanna swan, but I'm getting there. Since she got settled, Zendaya has put even more work into this home and it's noticeable in the yard. When you walk in the backyard, the gate is lined in red flowers and she seems to have lemon trees out there too. There are other fruit and blossom trees all over as well as an additional seating area in the garden. Now let's take a look at Zendaya's latest real estate purchase in the San Fernando Valley. Although records show the deal closed last year, it's only a few months ago that her quiet purchase of a multi-acre compound has surfaced, for which she paid a cool $4 million. Tucked away in the celeb-favored neighborhood of Encino, which has risen in popularity drastically over recent years, you'll find Zendaya's new property which sits on nearly four gorgeous acres of land. Her famous Encino neighbors include the likes of Selena Gomez, James Charles, and power couple Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton, just to name a few. The entire spread is completely hidden from prying eyes, invisible from the street down a long driveway, and secured behind camera watch gates. Zendaya can enjoy a sprawling main house, guest house, and a pool area here. Inside, her home spans 5,000 133 square feet with six beds and seven baths, so it's slightly bigger than her Northridge place. The magical property, as per the listing, offers stunning views, enormous flat land, hiking trails, and mature trees. Originally built in 1939, the sprawling ranch style main house has clearly undergone several significant renovations through the years as it's modernized and fresh. Interiors boast beautiful hardwood flooring throughout and a lot of white walls and accents matching the exterior of the house. There's a light and bright main living area with white stone fireplace, high ceilings, and glass French doors on either side to access the outside. The house also has a giant open kitchen with granite countertops and designer stainless steel appliances, plus some casual eating areas, and throughout the home there are multiple fireplaces. In the master suite Zendaya has here, it's super roomy and of course has lots of light. The ensuite bathroom is marble with a built-in soaking tub, perfect for relaxation, and there's also a wraparound private balcony with floor-to-ceiling glass sliders leading you outside. 
Elsewhere on the property, there's a shed-like guest house with its own bathroom, potential bedroom, and kitchen. In photos, it seems that there was also a games room corner by the looks of the pool table here. Other estate amenities include a recently installed pool with inset spa and surrounding stone patio. There's also sprawling lawns and a circular motor court. It remains unknown to the public when or if Zendaya plans to move into this latest home or if she's staying at her Northridge spot. Records reveal she put the property up for rental grabs late last year for 129 k per month, but the home has since been taken off the market. Alright, so that about wraps it up for the Zendaya house tour. After seeing both her Northridge mansion and her most recent acquisition in Encino, which home did you guys prefer? Be sure to rate and pick your favorite out of Zendaya's houses down in the comments below. If you're asking, I'd rate her Northridge place a 9 because it's just a beautiful villa and I can tell how much she loves it. And her Encino place an 8.5 only because I want to see how it looks furnished. I also recently did a house tour of my place on my personal channel and while I'm older than Zendaya and my place is much less impressive, it's still cute and I'd love it if you guys checked it out. So I'll link you my latest video and please like and subscribe to my personal channel. This is it, we're all moved in. Clearly it looks like I'm already living here. And this apartment didn't actually come with an island, the old kitchen did. So I had to order one, but I'm absolutely in love with this one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour you wanna see next. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.